from developing a lasting bond with her co-star Sam Hewen, to making an absolute plethora, and there really is no other word for it, of memories with her castmates. Here's what it's really like to work alongside Katrina Balfe, the Irish actress that's been taking the world by storm since 2013. Katrina Balfe joined the cast of Outlander on an absolute whim almost a decade ago. She was planning to travel to India for holidaying with a friend, frustrated with the slowness of her progress as an up-and-coming actor, when she suddenly received a call from her agent saying she needed to drop everything like, immediately, and get to London for a screen test that could make or break the trajectory of her career. Balfe was literally inside the Indian embassy with her passport in her hand. But she's nothing if not determined, so she dropped everything, like he said, and got to London. The British streaming service Stars had decided to adapt Diana Gabaldon's novels of the same name into a TV series called Outlander. And they were looking for a plucky young actress to play the part of married nurse Claire, who is suddenly catapulted back in time by a freak accident, ending up in 18th century Scotland, where she finds love with the bold, headstrong fighter Jamie Fraser and manages to flourish and win the affection of those around her despite the harshness of her new circumstances. Claire is well beloved by everyone around her, but does the same ring true for Katrina herself? Well, you'll be pleased to know it totally does. Sam Hewen, who plays Jamie, spends a lot of time with Katrina on set, seeing as he's her main love interest. The two have developed a lovely friendship over the years, which is probably why they have so much sizzling hot chemistry on screen. In an interview with Hello Magazine, Balf herself stated that the two of them could boast about having a firm friendship. She mentions that they'd had their moments where one would get on the other's nerves, but never to the point of a falling out. And the two definitely came to be each other's strongest support systems throughout filming, right from the first season. As you might know, it's a pretty taxing job being an actor, especially for a period piece like Outlander. Katrina and her co-stars would spend hours every day dressed in period wear, all corsets and big flouncy dresses and heavy boots with loads of layers for the men. It was both physically straining and emotionally too. Claire and Jamie both suffer tremendously in their respective lives. And of course, being the actors, you start to sort of become the people you play. You start to absorb their pain, and it becomes something like your own. You can definitely see how that might have happened to the cast of Outlander, since they deliver such gripping emotional performances, so you absolutely need a shoulder to cry on during all this physical and emotional turmoil. Balf says that once they both got their roles, she and Hewen took a walk in Hyde Park to try and process it all. She said the two discussed the new reality of their lives as potential stars, since at the time, nobody could predict Outlander's dazzling success. It could have flopped or it could have topped, and both Balf and Hewn were definitely anxious about the outcome. After all, their whole lives depended on it. But they made a deal that day in 2013 to always have each other's backs, to make the whole ordeal of being part of a show like Outlander easier. And they've stayed true to that promise. Hewen says he and Katrina are good friends, in real life. They've been spotted hanging out many times behind the scenes of Outlander filming, laughing and having a grand old time. Rumors have even circulated about them having a potential romance, but they've both denied it. Her humor is fantastic, Hewen said in a 2014 interview. She's great fun to work with, she's very hardworking, a wonderful actress, very natural. Their easy rapport even makes filming the love scenes less awkward. After all, it must not be very natural to interact that way with a platonic friend, and a good one at that. She's like my sister, Hewen jokes, saying she helps break the ice between them during the steamy parts. But what about the rest of the cast? Well, it seems they weren't immune to Katrina's charm either. Tobias Menzies, who plays a double role as both the husband Claire ditches in the 20th century, and a horrible villain in the 18th century, can always be seen laughing and joking with her and Sam, especially at panels to promote upcoming seasons of their show. They seem to be a bit of a trio and are always hanging around together behind the scenes. Menzies even says, Also, there was a real bond in season one between the cast, and not just between the actors. The rest of the supporting team is included in this too. We get to watch 18th century Claire fight off the ruffian played by Menzies, 
but then also suddenly get catapulted back into the present and force herself to make this marriage work when she's in love with someone else and can't even talk about it or see him. And then there's one of the other significant relationships on the show. Claire gets pregnant with her daughter just before being sent back to the present. She's played by Sophie Skelton, and it's clear she's Jamie's. Her bond with her mother on the show is clear to see, and how they're able to patch up all their differences. The complications of finding out you have a father who lives in the 18th century, all of that. They're skilled at communicating through it and letting their love for each other win. Skelton and Balf are so attached to one another, in fact, that the farewell their characters are forced to have this upcoming season has devastated them both. Skelton describes shooting the farewell as heartbreaking, and Richard Rankin, who plays her husband, agrees wholeheartedly. He says the cast enjoys a lovely relationship, and saying goodbye to Balf and Hewn and knowing that yeah, there could very well be a huge chunk of time. That could have potentially been the goodbye at that point. All in all, this is a group of people who've bonded beautifully over a series of eight seasons. They've seen all kinds of things. The hardships of being an up-and-coming actor. The difficulties of getting your show off the ground and into the air. Being able to be taken seriously as a piece of art, and not just trash TV. As a matter of fact, Sam Hewen and another cast member, Graham McTavish, have even published a book about working on the show. It's called Clanlands, and it details all the nitty-gritty parts of being an actor for Outlander. According to their book, the whole cast have had to stick together, and Katrina Balfe has been an instrumental part of that, it seems. The friendship between her and Hewen extended to everyone else, and so they were able to watch one another grow as actors, as individuals, and in their personal relationships with one another, all while making sure their careers follow the right trajectory. Oof, that's got to be pressure. Not even just as an individual, but to have to do that while maintaining such years-long friendships? Because at that point, all of them had known each other for a minimum of five years. In an interview with Express, Hewen says of the book, There are a great number of experiences, friendships, and adventures that we had on Outlander that haven't been included. McTavish was in agreement, sharing memories of hiding water bottles around Katrina, to keep her warm during their scenes in the harsh highlands, and boozy nights of fun when they'd all have off days. So there's a lot of magic and a lot of memories surrounding this cast. I mean, there's got to be a good reason for them to be writing an entire memoir about their lives as actors on that show. And it isn't just that, they're so well-known and well-loved by audiences worldwide. I suppose it's safe to say Katrina Balfe is someone who's easy to work with, loyal to her castmates, and a great deal of fun too. A lot of the time, fans are deeply disappointed that their faves' on-screen chemistry and friendship doesn't translate to real life. Take Gilmore Girls' Lorelai and Luke, who are amazing friends-turned-lovers in the show, but whose actors actually can't stand each other. Heartbreaking information for any Gilmore Girls fan. But watchers and enjoys of Outlander should be glad to know they've got a great leading lady on their hands. One whose bonds to the people she works with are real and have withstood the test of time and hard work. Lots of hard work. So from promising she'd have Sam Hewen's back forever once she was cast as Claire in Outlander, to finding herself a family within the rest of the cast, this has been what the Outlander cast really thinks of Katrina Balfe.